The uh, community's been actually talking about that quite a bit. Uh, they're calling it the Rehoboth uh, proposal. It's uh, from Minerva. Um, right now they're asking for an, R, or an MR1, um, which is a higher density, um, and they've just changed that on their application after the Planning Commission saw it uh, to RSM, which is a lower density. Um, we're going to see that for the first time uh, coming on Monday, so it will be our our first read and the uh, public will have the opportunity for to come in and say how they like it or if they don't like it um, during our public hearing process feel free to send us an email uh, ahead of time and and make sure that when you send that email don't just tell us we like it we don't like it but tell us why you know do you like the townhomes do you like the mix of townhomes versus you know the houses that are that are back there um, if you don't like it tell us what you don't like about it or what impacts that that, that you don't like and it kind of helps us look at the whole picture from a different lens. Well, we look at at least a year out. So first, staff is you know trying to keep ramped up to make sure that we have everything um, that we're looking at. Like if you come in to do a rezoning or if you have something that you want to put on our calendar, you have deadlines to meet. So that gives them enough opportunity to put out the public notices, uh, to make sure that all of their work is done, um, and then, of course, for you, so you can put it on your calendar and know when you need to be here. So it looks like Tucker's starting to go a little green, um, which I think is going to make everyone happy. Uh, I've heard that the uh, Girl Scouts have done a uh, good job over at Local 7 trying to, you know, keep the straws out of Tucker. It's little items like that that we're trying to all put together as a city saying that, hey, this is something that we want to do. Um, and be greener.